Welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10 Guys. My name is Danny Black, and I do hope today is everything you hoped it would be. And if not, you've still got a Most Amazing Top 10 video to watch, so at least that's something. Wow, that sounded a lot more motivational in my head. But today, guys, we're gonna get sporty and motivated and talk about some records in sport that are said to be unbreakable. Nobody will ever, ever surpass them. Now, people have said this about many records in the past, and then guess what? People have gone on to beat them. But but even so, many people say that the records we're about to talk about, surely, surely they can't be beaten. Now, do you guys agree? Is there any one way to find out? Let's see as we jump into our top 10 unbreakable sports records with our number 10, Michael Phelps. American swimmer Michael Phelps is often called the greatest Olympian of all time. Now, most athletes would consider it the pinnacle of their career if they achieved a gold medal at an Olympic event. The Olympics comes around every four years, and so it's considered a huge achievement if an athlete can stay on top of their sport for years and years and earn maybe three, four, five gold medals. During Michael Phelps' career, he earned 18 gold medals. What? The number two spot has nine. That's literally half the amount that Phelps achieved. It's a fairly recent record. Phelps got his last gold medal in 2012, but people are already saying that 18 gold medals for one athlete might just be impossible to beat. What do you guys think? At number nine now, we have the Golden State Warriors who hold the NBA record for the most wins in one season, an incredible 73. Back in 1972, the LA Lakers managed 69 wins in one season, and then basketball fans had to wait 24 years for Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls to top that with their 72 wins. They were the first team to break 70 wins in one season and many people thought that this was simply unbeatable and they weren't wrong. In the last 20 years since then, most teams didn't even come close. And then in 2016, Stephen Curry led the Warriors to 73 wins in one season. Nobody thought they'd ever see this record be broken, especially by this team. When Curry was asked what the 73 wins meant to him, he said it means I am a part of the best team ever. And some people are now starting to believe him. Next up at number 8, we have legendary tennis player Steffi Graf. On August 17th, 1987, she became the number one ranked women's tennis player in the world. She held on to that title for almost four years. That's absolutely crazy. Until March 11th, 1991, for a total of 186 weeks at the number one spot. For many years, the closest anyone came to being that dominant in the sport was Martina Hingis, but she only managed 80 weeks before being knocked off the number one spot. That's not even half of what Steffi Graf managed. And Steffi didn't have easy competition, it wasn't just like a fluke. One of her main rivals was the legend Monica Seles. Current number one in the world, Serena Williams, might be the only person who could take this title, but she'd have to remain number one until mid-September 2016. Only time will tell. Now at number seven, we have Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who holds the record for the most career points in the NBA history, with an astounding 38,387. Legends of the game like Wilt Chamberlain and Shaquille O'Neal don't even come close to this. Even Michael Jordan trails by 6,000 points. Kareem was a 7 foot 2 legend of the sport who spent most of his career with the Milwaukee Bucks and LA Lakers, finally retiring in 1989 with a whole slew of records including most minutes played and most field goals made. He eventually lost those titles over time, but today, 27 years on, nobody, nobody looks like they're ever going to beat that incredible amount of career points. The best hope in almost three decades was Kobe Bryant. He was only 5,000 points behind Kareem, but then he retired in April 2016. And now people are seriously wondering if this sporting record will ever be beaten. Now at number six, we have something I actually remember watching. Yes, I will never forget this tennis match we're about to talk about. How could I? It was the longest tennis match of all time. However you look at it, either by time or number of games, the 2010 Wimbledon match between American John Isner and French Nicolas Mahout is the longest tennis game since records began. The game started on the 22nd of June, but had to be postponed until the next day because of fading light. Yes, they literally ran out of sunlight. Then the next day, the same thing happened. On the third day, John Isner finally, finally won. Over the course of those days, the match lasted 11 hours 
hours and five minutes, smashing the previous record by over four and a half hours. The score actually got so high that the scoreboard at the event broke. Yeah, it actually just broke because it wasn't programmed to go that high. Mental. Moving on to number five now, we have Paula Radcliffe, who currently holds the record for the fastest women's marathon time of all time. In 2003, Paula ran the London Marathon in two hours, 15 minutes, and 25 seconds, beating her own record by more than two minutes. That was 13 years ago, and nobody has since come close to running 26.2 miles that quickly. It's simply amazing. There doesn't seem to be any explanation for how Paula ran that fast, other than she was obviously dedicated to it. She she was obviously built for it and she had an amazing training regime. In an interview, Paula Radcliffe once joked that her daughter Isla, who was born in 2007, might be the only person who will beat her own record. Now you might think that's ridiculous, but to be honest, it's been almost a decade now and people are starting to believe it. At number four, we have the fastest man on the planet at the time of recording this video, Usain Bolt, who holds the record for running 100 meters in a mind-blowing 9.58 seconds. Now he actually holds the top three spots for this, as if one wasn't enough, and he's the only person who seems to be able to beat himself. It's been seven years since Usain Bolt broke that 9.6 barrier, and a lot of people are wondering, will anyone be able to even run 100 meters in less than 9.58? Is it even physically possible? In 2008, a mathematician calculated that it might be physically possible for someone to do it slightly quicker, but only up to 9.44 seconds. Now scientists have weighed up a whole bunch bunch of possible conditions to try and predict if it will be possible, but the truth is, no one knows. It seems like the only way for Usain Bolt's record to be broken is to just sit and wait, but seeing as he's the only competition he has at the moment, we might be waiting a while. Moving on to number three now, we're going back in time to talk about Cy Young, and possibly the greatest baseball record of all time. During his 22 year long career in the MLB, he managed 511 wins. I'm pausing for effect. That's almost 100 more wins than Walter Johnson, who got 417. He was in second place. In fact, only 24 players have ever managed to break the 300 mark. The current leader is Bartolo Colon. He's been playing for 19 years, and he's only at 219 wins. Hopefully, these figures will give you an idea for just how incredible Cy Young's 511 career wins are. For some baseball fans, this record is totally unbreakable, because the sport has actually changed so much since then. For example, the threat of the ball leaving the yard was smaller back then, the strike zone was larger, and the pitchers were often told to pitch to contact. Still, what got side this record wasn't necessarily these changes, but the sheer durability of the guy. He was just so tough. Most players back then might be lucky to see 15 seasons. He saw 22. He got this record, and now people think it will remain literally forever. Alright guys, coming in at number two now, we have a name that any basketball fan will know as one etched into the NBA record books, Wilt Chamberlain and his 100 point game. In 1961, Wilt shot the world by scoring a staggering 78 points in one game. People were amazed and were speculating that perhaps one day, maybe, 80 points might be beaten. Just three months later, Wilt proved that and more was possible by scoring 100 points in his legendary game for the Philadelphia Warriors versus the New York Knicks on March the 2nd, 1962. The game was not actually televised and no video footage has ever surfaced, but there are sound recordings of the game's fourth quarter as it was being broadcast on the radio. Over Wilt's career, he racked up at least a dozen NBA records that many now see as being unbreakable, but this one is widely agreed as the best. In January 2006, the world held its breath as Kobe Bryant played a spectacular game that looked promising to take the title, but he still fell short with 81 points. It's been 54 years now since Wilt set that record. It's been a long time, over half a century, and people have almost given up on seeing it ever being broken in their lifetimes. It's a truly incredible statistic. And finally at number one, we've got a hockey player that became so legendary in his sport, he is often referred to as quite simply, the great one but you might know him as Wayne Gretzky. During his 20 year long career between 1979 and 1999, he racked up more NHL records than anyone thought possible, but many are most impressed by how many career points he took away a mind-bending 2,857 of them. That's more than 1,000 more than his nearest contender in second place.
place. The average number of points that a professional hockey player gets per season is about 112. Now, if they managed to bring that up to an impressive 140 and then consistently did that for about 20 years, they still wouldn't be able to beat Wayne Gretzky's record. How crazy is that? It's a simple fact that he is so far ahead of anyone else and has been for 17 years since he retired that makes people seriously doubt that this record will ever be broken. They don't call you the great one for nothing. Well guys, I've had fun looking at 10 people who make me feel totally useless. I hope you did too. The fun part, not the useless part. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to give us the old thumbs up. Much appreciated. And subscribe if this is your first time finding us. If you're a big sports fan, what other sports videos do you want us to do in the future? And if you're not a big sports fan, what other videos are you craving for us to do? Don't worry. You guys don't have to fight about it in the comments section. We can manage them all. Just let us know one at a time. In the meantime though, thanks for watching Most Amazing Top 10 guys. I'm Danny Burt. You can find me on Instagram down there and I'll see you guys soon.